So next up is a, a, a machine that's been in our line and has not been touched or changed in probably over 15 years. Uh, this is our, our carpet extractor. Um, it's an 11 gallon, uh, I wanna say 16 inch uh, cleaning width. Um, but this is about a rock solid of a machine, you know, as 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 uh, we had, especially on the carpet side. Yes, Dave. I don't know if anybody needs to take a five minute body break or. Do we need to take a break? Anybody? In an hour. Okay. Yes, Mel. Soon. Soon. All right. <laughs> All right. Maybe uh, after the extractor, before we go into the hard floor uh, equipment, we'll we'll take a five minute uh, break. Uh, so this right here, uh, again, has been in our line for many, many years and has been relatively unchanged. There's a lot, it, it, it's really a dinosaur, especially in design. When you look at a lot of uh, carpet extractors out there, you know, they all have these little fancy little gadgets and trinkets and hoses and they're all plastic. Um, this right here uh, performs really, really well. It's really durable. I mean, high, again, high impact resin. You can feel it on all of our machines. You, you, know, you touch this compared to some of the other uh, roto mold uh, uh, from the from the other units out there. You can tell this is really high quality. But the other thing I like about this is uh, it's all metal, right? So um, you don't have too many machines nowadays that have uh, metal jets, metal back shoes. I mean, this this thing you know has all of that and really really performs well on a demo. This is where this really shines. You know, you look at the design and not not maybe not all that appealing to com compared to some of the newer machines that are out there. But when you put it on the floor next to another machine, this this one here really really outshines and uh, performs. Uh, also very simple. So you've got uh, you know your uh, recovery tank up here, right? Uh, You've got your solution tank down here. Uh, this right here locks your brush and keeps your brush uh, out of the floor so it doesn't get mad. So when I'm going to use the machine, I simply lift this up and drop it down, and that allows my brush to make contact with the carpet. And when I'm not using it, I'm just going to lift it up, lock it into place there, and. Uh, I don't have to worry about it getting matted, and then the next time I use my machine skipping, so on and so on. So real nice. Again, that's a nice little feature to have because with other units that don't have that, you know, that's what typically happens. So uh, on the uh, control panel here, you have your uh, vacuum, and you also uh, vacuum on. You have your lever, which basically controls your brush and your water, and you also have your accessory. So when you're using an accessory, you have your um, your button there for, for your accessory. Uh, you have your uh, standard uh, quarter inch uh, connection here. And then this right here will allow you to switch between accessory or um, machine. Got a really nice uh, big opening here for draining the tank. Uh, again, you know, one of the other things I like about this is how everything is all molded. So you look at the handle here. You know, sometimes when you have a machine that's auto mode and the handle is not, you know, as people are moving the machine with the weight of the water and things like that, things tend to get all bent out of shape, right? And now you've got a machine that you're operating and the handle's kind of tilted and sideways. You don't have to worry about that with this. Again, all these machines are designed to be durable, uh, reliable, last a long time, and, and, and work. Um, as I tilt this back, you're able to see underneath. Let's see here. Let me see if I can tilt it back a little bit more. Uh, you've got uh, anti-corrosive material there. I'm not sure how, how much you can see from, uh, from online, but all of that underneath is uh, you know, all that anti-corrosive. You've got access to your brush here, your jets, again, right there. Uh, easy to remove, easy to clean out, but they're again, uh, you know, all metal jets, and you've got a really nice uh, heavy uh, all metal back shoe. 